guys, it's Amber. So, I asked on my Twitter what I should do for my next video. And I asked to either go thrift shopping, a day of what I eat, or my Jeffrey Dean Morgan experience. And my Jeffrey Dean Morgan experience, like, beat them both by, like, so much. Probably, like, 40%. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So, a little backstory of how I got into... The Walking Dead is I was 16 I had no shows to watch so I seen The Walking Dead on Netflix and I started to watch it and I became hooked. My crush was Norman Reedus which is Daryl Dixon. I was head over heels for him until Negan came into the show. Once he stepped foot out of that trailer it was over. I knew who he was before that like, I knew him as John Winchester, and I knew him as Denny Duquette in Grey's Anatomy, but, like, I really, really noticed him when he was in The Walking Dead. I started a fan Twitter, which will be linked down below because I still have it, and I seen that they're doing conventions for them, and that you can meet them and take photos with them and even talk to them, and I freaked out. I went to my parents, I'm like, you need to buy me this. I will do anything. So uh, we ended up going. They they came too because, you know, I was 16 and like I'm not driving all the way down there. But yeah, so we get to the hotel. My friend Carrie is staying with us. And that whole Friday night, I am so nervous to the point where like I'm about to cry. Yeah, I go to sleep, don't sleep at all that night. Have to wake up at 5 in the morning to get ready. And I was so nervous to the point where like I was like, should I even go? <laughs> Like, it was that bad. We go to the convention center, and we get in, we go through all the lines and stuff like that, and then we're like, you know what? Like, the first thing we do when we get there, you know what? Let's go see where his booth is for, like, autographs and stuff, so we don't have to worry about it later. And we're group A, and we walk up to his booth, and it says group A, and there's already people in line. It's like 9.30 in the morning. Like, I'm like, he's not even here yet. Like, we don't even need to stand here. And the guy in front of me, he's like, there's these two, like, really tall guys standing in front of me. And he's like, yeah, he is. He's right there. And I was like, where? And he pulls me in front of him, and he's like, right there. And I was like, and I just started hysterically crying. I couldn't help it. And like my friend Carrie comes over to me and is like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And I'm like, he's right there. So we're like, we're in line. We're probably in line for about three hours. So I'm like, so like the rows go like, like windy and they're like metal bars kind of. And so we're like one row and then there's another one and then he's right there. So there, we're like two rows away from him. And I'm like standing like at the edge of the line where like he could see me, but he's talking to somebody. I'm like so tired. I haven't ate yet that day. I'm sick of, I'm already sick of standing on my feet. And I'm just looking at like a cosplayer. Like this little kid was cosplayed as a zombie and he like looked so cute. And all of a sudden people start to look at me from the like this part of the line. And I'm like, what? why are people looking at me? I was like, is there something on my face? And my friend Carrie goes, Amber, Amber, look. And like, I look over to my left and he's like pointing at me and he's like, and I'm wearing this exact hat. And he's like, I like the hat girl. And I was like, oh my God. And I, I was like, <laughs> hi. He's like, I can't wait until you get up here. And I turn, my friend Carrie already had her arms open and I just, hugged her and started hysterically crying and she said he was laughing at me so love him so much so i get up there to the front of the line and carrie's in front of me i'm standing there i'm literally so nervous like i'm shaking she leaves and i'm just like standing there like oh god so i just put my head down on the table in front of him and like not look at him all i hear is What's wrong, sweetheart? And his, like, stupid deep voice. And I look up at him, and I just start hysterically crying, and he grabs my hands, and he's like, tell me what's wrong. And then I tell him, and, like, he's just so sweet. And, like, I 
I was like sobbing to the point where like I couldn't speak because like I don't know how to explain it like he's right in front of me and like he's my role model and it's just so hard to explain like it's not in like a fangirl way of oh my god he's so hot I can't oh my god it's like oh my god the guy that is my role model and that helped me through a lot of things like through high school distracted me from everything I went through is standing right in front of me and it was probably like the best moment ever but once I stopped crying, I talked to him and I gave him a, like a letter like explaining things and I told him I made him a Lucille and then I was like, so my mom has a big crush on you and he was like, oh really? Where is she? And I was like, she's back at the hotel room with my dad and uh, he goes, oh shit, I wonder what they're doing and I was just like, can you stop and then i talked about some like personal stuff that i don't want to say and then i was like i'll see what photo ops and he's like okay i can't wait to see you sweetheart and i was like if he calls me sweetheart one more time i swear okay so then i called my mom and then i cried to her for about maybe 25 minutes and i made my mom and dad cry and like what a good time my mom cries every time she hears this story and when she watches this video, she will probably cry again. So, hi mom. I hope you're not crying, but you probably are. Already met um, Cutlets, Sonequa, Christian. I went to Jeffrey's panel where he like answers questions and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's around like five o'clock, probably. And I get in the photo op line. And I'm group A for photo ops too. And so I'm standing there, I'm like waiting, waiting, and there's like a long line. And I eventually, cause like there's like curtains up, so like you can't see like people, like only like the pe first five people could see it or something like that. But anyway, so I get like behind that curtain and there's like four people in front of me and there's pe someone taking a picture. And like, he gets done taking the picture with that person and he like looks over at me and he like smiles and he's like like and points at me and I'm just like can he stop like making my day more and more and more emotional so I get up to, I get up finally I'm up to him and he goes there's a girl Amber and I'm like how like how did he remember my name it's been like about five or six hours since I last seen him and I'm like how did he remember me like I really don't get it and so I show him my photo op pose and Becca put the photo like here he pulls me in by my waist so quick and then he puts his forehead against mine and looks me straight into my eyes and I was like I just like close my eyes so quick and I just like I was like I swear if I look him in the eyes, I will kiss this man. And the photo op people are like jerks, so you can't stay long and like talk to him. But I was like, I'll see you next year. And he was like, okay, can't wait. And then I gave him a hug and I was like, I love you. And then I walked away and I cried my eyes out for about three days. That was my Jeffrey Dean Morgan experience. I'm going again this year. I can't wait to see all my friends also. Shouts out to Becca, Kaylee, Maline, Charlotte, Courtney, of course. I just seen Courtney. You know, girl. I might have a couple new people coming, and I just can't wait. I'm probably going to be even more emotional. But anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Like it up. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Maybe even leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.